and welcome to the Purely Fresh Cooking Show. I am Alicia. And I am Nick to the E Fresh. <laughs> um, and we are making spaghetti squash bake today. So let's hop right in and put Nick to work. So I'm going to flash the ingredients that you need on the next slide and then <laughs> we will go ahead and walk you through the ingredients as well. So basically you'll just need one spaghetti squash. I typically use one that's a little bit smaller than this, but um, this is a good size though, so we're gonna do that. And then we have about a cup of mushrooms, about a half cup of onion, and about two cups of spinach. You could do kale, any greens works. And then we also have some um, Beyond Meat burgers that we're gonna grind up into like ground beef, but you can use any protein that you want. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Great. Wow, that was your quickest intro. You're getting better. <laughs> so, That's boring. So this first part is that we are going to have Nick um, put some slits in the spaghetti squash. So basically, what is a slit like? just just like dagger the knife into there a few times. But Quarantine. Be, be careful. Um, <laughs> this is zombie training. Ah. So basically, this is my tip. Ew. Be careful, please. This is dangerous. <laughs> Be careful at home. Um, so this is my tip as to how to cook the spaghetti squash a little bit quicker. Sure. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make probably six to eight um, daggers. So just keep turning it. Oh, it I just killed the one <laughs> side. That is your side. Um. So, so yeah, just like slits like he's doing, and then we're going to microwave it for five minutes, because then it's easier to cut open, and it'll cook quicker, all that good stuff. So that should be good. Is it good yet? That's good. Are you sure? So then, so then as you see, we have it in this plastic Tupperware dish. Um, so I'm just gonna fill this up with about an inch of water. It's basically so that it creates steam, and then we're gonna pop it in the microwave for five minutes. So while that's in the microwave, we are going to go ahead and get our veggies and the protein started. So, as we mentioned, we have about a cup of mushrooms and then a half cup of onion and about two cups of greens. <laughs> All right. It's in my face. It's in my face too, gosh. Okay, so go ahead and put those in there. Wow. Oh my God, that. special for you guys at home. And girls too, because I'm not, I don't just say you guys. Okay. And then you can go ahead and add the spinach and then we're gonna put that on the burner on medium heat. And we're also gonna start cooking up our Beyond Meat as well. Wow, so we'll meet you guys over there. All right, the spaghetti squash is out of the microwave. We microwaved it for five minutes, and yes, Nick, it is going to be hot. So that's why I have this here, so that we can cut it open. What's it is? Okay, so basically to cut it, you'll want to hold your hand here and then cut it in half length, lengthwise. Which, what, which part of the knife do I cut with? Obviously, I know what I'm doing. Get out of here. <laughs> God. For, you should, she acts like uh, I, I've never survived on my own before. Well, a tip that I have for you with how you're doing the knife, though, is that, yeah, you want to start with the point down. There, there you go. Maybe I do need a little help. <laughs> we get by with a little help from our friends. What the fuck is this? Um, something else that I wanted to mention as Should well. Should I use a different knife? Oh, there we go. No, that knife works. And if you want, I can get you a bigger knife. <laughs> so we're getting ready for a zombie apocalypse around here. Um, something else that Ooh, I- Oh, it's hot. It's fudge. How many times are you going to interrupt me? Um, <laughs> The other thing that I didn't mention is that you also need pasta sauce. We have Rouse here. I love this one just because it's very clean ingredients, but any organic pasta sauce or all natural pasta sauce will work. Just make sure there's no added sugar in it. Um, 
So we'll probably use about a half jar of this. There you go, you did it. All right, is that the end of the recipe? <laughs> so now what we'll do is we will scoop out the insides. What? So you're gonna take, you wanna take away all these seeds and you can just dump them in this Tupperware here. But this was an easy recipe. I mean, it is easy. Once, you know, the spaghetti squashes. There's some apart. stuff going on in here. It looks like it's growing. And then another thing that we'll be using is vegan mozzarella cheese. I really like the Miyoko's brand and it doesn't come shredded, but I just use um, a shredder that I have here and I put it in the freezer so that it's easier to shred. The block gets really um, hard that way. This reminds me of pumpkins. Yeah, so an easier way to do it is to really <laughs> Be my guest. To really just dive in from this side and then just pull down like that. See? Wow. And then you can scoop it out. And then you do the same thing on the opposite side. And then it's like all out. Can you show me one more time? <laughs> so that you get out of scooping it? No, I just need to, I, the angle I had obviously was wrong. So I need to do it again. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that we're using, we have this avocado oil spray. I really like this spray and the oven is heated to 350. Um, but if you don't have the avocado oil spray, you can just, you know, you can drizzle olive oil or whatever you have on hand. So now you're going to spray each one of these, like coat them really well. There you go. Okay, that's good. And now you're gonna do salt and pepper. Too much. Let me go in hard on the avocado oil. I think it's in my eyes. Wow, that's good. Very peppery. Doesn't that ward off like? Yeah. Okay, now a little of... salt too. And then we are going to bake this at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. And I'm going to check on our veggies right now. And then we will see you guys when it comes out of the oven. are back our spaghetti squash is baked our sauce is all melded together looks all delicious and we have we just pulled our vegan mozzarella cheese wheel from the freezer just to make it a little bit easier to shred and let's hop right in so basically what we're going to do is we are going to spoon the um, sauce mixture evenly into each of these spaghetti squashes so you might not use all of it Last time we made this, I just kind of filled it up just a little bit. Um, I'll tell Nick when to stop. i can probably start putting some into the other one now. Well, this um, one's mine. I want to make sure it's full. <laughs> it really just depends on the size of your spaghetti squash, but if you have extra, you can go ahead and um, just continue to add it while you're eating it. Um, these ones are a little bit bigger, so this really is probably going to do like closer to four servings than two, but it really just depends on the size. This show was single serving. <laughs> it was yeah. single serving last time we made it, but it was smaller spaghetti squash. So it really just depends how hungry you are. If you I'm want hungry. a full half, go for it. So, and it looks like the sauce is gonna sp spoon perfectly into both of these. So last time we had extra sauce. That was good because I could keep adding it on the way down as you eat the spaghetti squash. <laughs> So, and this is just like a fun, different way to have the spaghetti squash. No, I was doing it for the camera. I know, but you're blocking the spaghetti squash. Okay, now we are going to add the vegan mozzarella. Wow. <laughs> but I think I go this way. Whichever way your little heart desires. And see, it, it shreds really easily. 
Um, and I like wow. this. I like this vegan mozzarella the best because it's just really clean. It's cashew based, and a lot of vegan cheeses can have a lot of different additives, and this one just doesn't. And I really like it. And it's meal dose. Wow. Okay, that looks good. Tell me when. It's like Olive Garden. When. You're not supposed to say when that early. <laughs> so now we're gonna pop this, this in the oven. <laughs> We're gonna pop this in the oven and we'll do some questions while it's in there. All right, so we're gonna set a timer for five minutes. Oh, that's how you do the timer. Didn't know. All right, so the timer is in there for five minutes and let's get started with some questions. This is my favorite part, always. So the first question I actually had and I asked Alicia and her friend KJ? I, oh yeah, KJ. On their show, or on their Insta Live, if you could only work out or eat healthy for the rest of your life, you had to choose one or the other, what would it be and why? I would choose eating healthy because I'm a big believer that abs are made in the kitchen. And that what you eat is um, a lot of the way, like how your body is composed. Obviously, exercise is really great to build muscle and look lean and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I would choose that because I could still walk and I'm a big low impact girl. So I would definitely choose eating healthy. I think I've done the eating healthy in this quarantine. I'm down 12 pounds. So I've, I've done a month of eating healthy with only low impact workouts. So I might, I might want to test out a month of eating unhealthy with workouts and see what the difference is, but down 12 pounds. So is that happening as soon as quarantine is over? Or are you going to do? Yes. I'm going to be oh, back at all okay. the drive throughs and all unhealthy. What do you think? Lovely. That sounds great. All right. What's the next question? Hit me. The last question, because we only have a minute and 50 seconds and you're long winded. Um, what will you take away from this situation in COVID-19? I will take away a new business. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> um, I will take away a lot of <laughs> um, gratitude. Gratitude for being able to travel whenever. And I think I'll have a new appreciation for being able to like hop on a plane and go see our families whenever. Um, and I think I will also take away a little bit of a sense of like calmness because I think it's been really nice to kind of just take a step back and chill and focus on my goals and growing my business and all that sort of thing. So, wow. Anything else? I, I always I'm sure you could, with, go, yeah, yeah, I could, sure could go on forever. <laughs> I saw this funny meme online. It said now like after COVID, I won't, I won't show up to any parties late. I'll be there early to help you set up. So I thought that was pretty hilarious. Um, True. But no, I'll still show up to parties late. It's just in my blood. I show you up won't to, show up to parties. You that, don't I don't go to parties. You don't one. show up to but two, parties. If I was invited to one, I would show up late. I think the other thing is... You always show up late. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Like I, I really don't feel like it's changed too much. Like I chill with my, my buddies a lot. Um... So I'll definitely, after that, appreciate the time with them. Maybe get some extra um, Sour Patch Kids because I can't get them in quarantine right now. But you can get Smart Sweets. I love Smart Sweets. Uh, we have plenty of Smart Sweets. I like those too, but sometimes you just want the real thing. No. Um, yeah, no, and I, I don't know. I, I really appreciate the time at home and I'm making music. Do you appreciate studio. the time with me? You get tons of time with me? That, oh. That's it. Nope, I can't answer that because the ding the bell's done, you know. Alrighty. Let's pull it out. Let's see. Okay. Yum. Look at this. Ow. Oh, oh, is it too hot? Yeah, it's definitely too hot. Damn. <laughs> it's really hot. Um, but yeah, so these are, Here's you know, you can there. literally just serve these. You just put each on a plate. I like to serve with a side salad. Typically, we've already eaten our side salad. <laughs> um, yeah, or you could serve with some broccoli, whatever you want. But that is the end of the cooking show. Do you want to try it? It's going to be hot. It's going to burn my mouth so bad, but I will try it for the viewers. 
to prove that I, this is Nikki Fresh approved and I would eat it. So first off, you can see the spaghetti kind of peels off. Yeah. And which is you great. Just, like, you like kind of dig in in this vegetable that doubles as spaghetti. Spaghetti splash. So here, here's the pieces. Uh, it's, it's not as twirly as an Italian spaghetti that's real, but you can get a little twirl, you know? Let's see. Twirl, cheers. cheers. Let me grab some. Blow on it. He always complains. He's like, oh, yummy. It's so hot. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Delicious. I would eat that for dinner. Oh, wait. I am eating this for dinner. Nick That's actually asked starving. me. He asked me to make this again. When I made it, you said it was my your favorite meal I've made in quarantine so far. I like it. And we've been in quarantine for three weeks, you guys. So I've made a this lot of This is a good meal. Yeah. I really like it. All right. With that, that is the end of our Purely Fresh Spaghetti Squash Bake. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys are staying busy and having a great time in quarantine, or if quarantine is over, please thank God. I hope you're having a good, normal time. We're putting this out in a week. What do you mean? I'm saying people <laughs> might watch it like a year oh, later. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? Do you know something I don't know? <laughs> All right. Well, cheers safe. to myself. <laughs> I'm not drinking tonight, so, or normally ever. Um, All right. Cheers. Love you, and thank you for tuning in to Purely Fresh. See you all in the next one. Bye.